Hey friend, help me answer these questions. When I look at people and ask them, what does Nike stand for? They say, hey bro, Simon, that's easy. Just do it. Okay, that's great. When I ask them, what does Adidas stand for? Many will say, yeah, man, that's easy too. Impossible is nothing. And I ask them, what does Coca-Cola stand for? That's easy. Test a feeling. Now the square one question is, what do you stand for? When people look at you, do they think victory? Do they feel hope? Do they feel encouragement? Do they feel the inspiration coming out of you? Do they feel motivation? Do they feel victorious? Do they feel like they are, they are, they are, they are comforted? When people look at you, what do they think? That's the square one question. Are we together? When people look at you, do they think that that is the person that is going to give me everything that they have got 101% are we together on each and every single day and not on some days but on every single day and it's not going to be if I feel like it because if we only worked on the days when we felt like it none of us would get much accomplished and this cuts across whether it's in your business whether it's in your education whether it's in your individuality whether it's in your spirituality whether it's in your relationships whether it's in your whatever that it cuts across we are not talking about a commitment that falls in line when everything goes right. We are talking about a level of commitment that says, I'm going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I say did in has left. We need to work on our commitments, ladies and gentlemen. If they have done it, we, you and I, we can also do it from today and onwards. We live generous with our light. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works. That they will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. It's to the glory of God. When you reject with hope, it's to the glory of God. When you inspire, when you motivate, when you encourage. We are in trial times right now, ladies and gentlemen. And it is time for you and I to be strong, to encourage someone, to inspire someone, to motivate someone, to hold someone's hand and say we are in this all together and we are going to go through it. We can be the light in the tunnel. Are we together? There is hope still existing on this world today and you know it and i know it and if you didn't know it then i'm telling you today there is hope still existing when we are committed to whatever we are supposed to be committed to life is going to be easy most people are stoppable most people all you have to do is to tell them no all you have to do is to make it inconvenient for them all you have to do is to make it difficult for them and they will stop but that is not you because I believe in you and God believes in you. His word says that you can do all things through Christ who infuses inner strength in you. See, ladies and gentlemen, when you go to get your goal, don't think that all you have to do is to think positively and everything is going to work out hokey-dokey for you. In as much as thinking positive is the primary bit, but it is important that when you go to get your goal, you have to mean it. You thought that you are just going to have a dream and a goal and that you are just going to wake up and just walk into the sunset. No. It didn't work that way. Challenges will come. It will only defy in magnitude. But they will come, I assure you. You're going to lose your friends. You're going to lose some friends. Do you still need your goal? You're going to lose people that were this close to you. Do you still need your dream? Do not quit. The Bible says that yet in all these things, you are more than conquerors. Are we together? Do not quit. Personally, I have come too far to quit right now. And so are you. I would have quit when I got chucked in high school. I would have quit when I almost got insane in, in Zambia Hospital. I would have quit when I got the bad news medical report from Mango Hospital. I would have quit, man. I would have quit when 12 bags of cement covered me at around 12 years of age. Man, I would have quit when I fell off a tree and almost lost my life. I would have quit. But if God has brought me this far, if God has brought you and I this far, then let us not quit over the pandemic. Let us not quit over the fear that is everyone is talking about. Let us not quit over the worst news that we see on international televisions each and every single day. Let us not quit over the fear, the worry, the fretting, the anxiety that is roaming around the place. We have come too far to quit right now. You have come too far to quit right now. You have come too far to quit over a pandemic. God has done a lot of things for you. Just acknowledge that. There are even more worse past experiences that you have overcome. But if he has brought you this far, he's going to take you through it. And you're going to get out on the other side victorious. You're going to get out on the other side more courageous, more inspired, more encouraged, more motivated. 
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is the crazy thing about this virus. Man, this virus doesn't care about our differences. This virus doesn't care whether we are black or white. It doesn't care whether you're Christian, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Hindu or an atheist. This virus doesn't care whether you're a celebrity or a regular person. It doesn't care whether you're NRM or people power. It is attacking everybody, all mankind. And this calls for all of us to be reunited as we go through this. And this is what I believe, that as we go through it and we fight back, we're going to bounce back, not just the same way, but we're gonna bounce back stronger. We're gonna bounce back bolder. We're gonna bounce back better than before. Ain't nothing gonna stop us from living our dreams. You see somebody say that we are made in hard times, but mm -mm -mm, no, 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 no. I believe that hard times just show us what was already on the inside of us. Hard times, painful times, and the perils of life just reveal unto us what was on the inside. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? The Bible says, count it all joy when we go through various trials. Are we together? Think about the healthy workers that are working 10 to 12 to 16 hours of a day. Man, these healthy workers have been great, but this coronavirus is exposing their greatness. Think about the policemen and the policewomen that are trying to keep law and order throughout the quarantine. They have been great, but this virus is exposing their greatness. Think about our parents. You see, some of our parents have reinvented to walking and, and cycling as the means of transport than driving. You see, all that strength was within them, but this virus is exposing it. So the hard times only reveal unto us what was already on the inside. Even though we are apart, may we be united in our love. May we be united in our hope. May we be united in our courage. May we be united in our commitment. May we be united in our service to one another. You see, as this virus is spreading, love can even spread more. May our hope be contagious. May our faith be stronger. May our faith be bolder. May our faith be open. Because it is the substance of things hoped for and it is the evidence of things unseen. And hope is the expectation that something good will come now this is why you should smile in adversity because I can see the day when we are back in our restaurants laughing I can see the days when we are back with our friends eating pizza I can see the friend when we are walking through those malls with cheer I can see the day when we're having service together but until then let our homes be filled with excitement. Let our homes be filled with joy, with encouragement, with commitment, with courageousness, with love, with peace, with excitement. So I just want to encourage you right now. Be confident in the Lord. I know things look really rough and really challenging, but God is with you and he's not planning to leave you to go through it alone. Don't throw in the towel. Don't let go. Don't give in. Stay in there. Hang on in there. Just hold on. We will be all right. Do you realize that the words of men are just an encouragement? But it's the word of God that brings faith. And that when God speaks, things must happen. Realize, notice this. It's not that they can happen, but they must happen. You might be wondering, but why, Simon? Why this circumstance? Why this situation? Why this pandemic situation? There is something in you. There is something in us that God is hatching through the circumstances around us. Remember this video about character? And that's why it's important for you to have faith because faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You see, the glory of the Lord is distinct and not found anywhere else but in certain places, places where there is faith. Are we together? You see, having faith in God attracts Him to intervene into our circumstances with all the fullness and with all the procurement. Okay, let's take an example. When a president is invited to come into an occasion, uh, there's an assurance of security, there's an assurance of paramedics, there's an assurance of food, there is facilitations, everything and all the benefits that come with the present. If the roads are crooked, man, they are going to be made clear. Simply because a big person is underway, simply because a big person is coming. Likewise, faith is the perfect invitation to God. The moment you activate it, there is a beaconing to the Most High. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? And when He is revealed to your location, there is nothing that cannot change for your betterment. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter number 32, verses 37, I am the Lord, the God of all people of the world. Is there anything too hard for me? You see, now the answer to this question is definitely a no. But oftentimes, the devil or imputes fear on us which deactivates the faith and brings about doubt. Remember this, faith is A and A only. There is no plan B or plan C with faith. Are we together? It either works or it works. And it comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. 
not by the doctor's report, not by your bank account's balance, not by what's in your pocket, not by your family status, but by the word of God. And what does the word say? The word says, yet in all these things, you're more than conquerors. The Bible says that you're above and not beneath. You're the head and not the tail. The word says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. The Bible says that yet in all these things, you're more than conquerors. The Bible says that greater is he that is in you than the pandemic in the world. The Bible says that by his stripes you were healed. The Bible says that with long life he will satisfy you. The Bible says that all things work together for your good. The Bible says that you shine brighter and brighter. The Bible says that the longer you live, the brighter you shine. The Bible says that out of you flows issues of living waters. That is how faith comes by the word of God. You see now, if things we fear come upon us, how much more, how much more the things that we believe and have faith in God for? Think about it. You see, faith is the law that governs receiving. And when fear knocks, let faith answer the door. God put the dream, the goal, the ambition, the hope, the faith, the courage, the phenomenal you in you. Your life is going to follow your thoughts. Romans 12 2 encourages us to renew our minds with what the word of God says about us. He says you're blessed, you're talented, you're fully equipped, you're enough, you're above and not beneath, you're the head and not the tail. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yet in all these things you're more than conqueror. By his stripes you were healed. And all through the day, that is what is supposed to be playing in our minds. But sometimes it's not the negative thoughts that hold you back. It is the negative words that people talk about you. Are we together? Ladies and gentlemen, now words are like seeds. The more you rely on them, the more they become a reality. You see this, ladies and gentlemen, there will always be people who will come to tell you of how your dream won't come to pass. There will always be people who will come to tell you of how your dream is too big for you. There will always be people who come to tell you that you're too small to accomplish this, you're too young to accomplish this, you're too old to finish this, you're too young to do this and do this and, and all those kind of things. But learn this. Learn to let those words pass through one ear and let them out through the other. Are we together? But let our attitude be, this is where I am. But it's not who I am. Don't say I'm broke. Say I'm overcoming a cash flow problem. Don't say I'm sick. Say I'm overcoming a certain disease. Are we together? Our condition is not our conclusion. Say I'm empowered. I'm equipped. I can do all things. I got what it takes. Do not let any corrupt thought hinder you from your destiny. Despite the pandemic in the world, despite the worst news, despite the fear, I'm here to let you know that hope still exists. Are we together? It's the expectation that something good will come. That is what we are supposed to cling on to. That tomorrow is going to be better. That the next few minutes are going to be better. That the next seconds are going to be better. That the next days are going to be better. Are we together? You will fulfill your destiny. You will become who God made you to be. You're stronger. Seeds of greatness are within you. You have royal blood flowing in your veins. You are the up of God's eye. The psalmist said, even though my mother and father forsake me, God will adopt me. So don't let people talk you out of your destiny. And no offense, experts are not always right. The experts told Sarah that she couldn't bow at that age. They told David that he's too small to, and too young to defeat Goliath. It is not bad to listen to good counsel and advice, ladies and gentlemen, but God's ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and we are talking about having faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? After this world crisis, they will tell you, man, your business is going to leap. Ay, 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 ay. After this, your school might not have students. After this, uh, but look here, God put things in your heart that are beyond normal logic are we together i dare you to believe change how you think today god didn't put the dream in the critics god didn't put the dream in the people that are spreading worse news god didn't put the dream in your neighbor are we together god put the dream the goal the ambition the hope the faith the courage the phenomenal you in you critics will go and you will stay and the funny thing is that you won't even miss them. So awaken your conscience to the truth that God has called you not to fear. The power of truth is our liberty in God, in Christ. Are we together? And when you fear, you attract the torment that creates the things that you feared. Change the way you think. And you're going to drift in that direction. God bless you. Thanks so much for watching.